It's Hastings Day. 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 Hello, is anybody there? Because I'm certainly. Hang on, let's transition. I'm certainly here. I am definitely here. I've got the right headphones on. I believe I have. They believe they're plugged in. Um, ah, random, random user's not here. So don't say hello to random username for promo. Um, I played a little video at the start, which you may or may not have heard. Let's see. I, all these bloody... No. Monitor... Oh. Hello! Right. Monitor output... Monitor off. What the hell do these bloody things mean? I want. Oh yeah, right. Hang on. I, I saw this Twitch. Nothing's got set. Nothing has any sensible names in Twitch. Nothing's got any sensible names. Right. Monitor only. No, I want to hear the desktop audio. It was. Uh, please work, you bastard. That should be okay. Well, let's try that again. Oi. In theory, I should hear it now. It's Hastings yes. Day. It's Hastings 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 Day. Hastings Day. Excellent. And transition. I don't know how to do it fancily, but I should also be I should also be audible in and of myself. Hello, I am speaking. I am speaking to you from the year ten sixty six. Well, it's Hastings Day. It's Hastings Day. It's ha 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 Hastings. I did that this morning, uh, and then I found the video wasn't recording. Oh, come here, hat. There we are. So I'm presuming I am speaking. Uh, because today is Hastings Day. Hastings Day. Ha 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 ha. Hastings Day. So let's get started with the year 1065. Edward the Confessor is King of England. <coughs> He's not very well. <coughs> oh, thank you for the subscription, Razuk. Very kind of you. He's <coughs> not very well, is King Edward. And <coughs> unfortunately, at the start of uh, 1066, he dies. He doesn't even make it to Epiphany when the three kings. Look at this. It's just like Hollywood, isn't it? He's not well, is he? He's not well. Look how old he is with his beard. He refused to shag his wife. Seriously, he didn't shag his wife on purpose. As a cunning ploy. Right, let's try. Let's turn that off and transition. I'm sure Bex is it cleverly. So, in th so that then leads us on to the start of 1066 because a certain man gets elected as king and then some people don't like it namely this guy i'm tastic brother Donald. i should be king of england i was earl of northumbria but then bastards keep me out so I've gone looking for help abroad in Normandy and Norway, and I'm out to cause trouble. Arr, ha, 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 so that was all last week. Uh, or, the, or the last time I streamed was the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which included various attempts by the Norwegians. Look at him. Hello, I am Harold Hardrada. King of Norway, and I want to be king of England too. That cannot. He was king of Denmark and Norway and England. Why not me? I'm a double hard bastard with a great big axe. And you know why they call me hard, hard rider? It's not because of this, eh, ladies? Ah, ah. Oh, yeah. That was not Jesus. That was the that was Tostig Godvinson, who was played by me playing hashtag blame Luke Stadden. It is very Game of Thrones. 
And I was reading more into it, and it got even more tangled because Tostig, who is Harold Goblinson's brother, so Edward the Confessor wouldn't shag his wife. He was made to marry the daughter of Godwin, therefore the sister of Harold. That meant that he, any, any kids he had would be on the throne. And he hated Godwin because Godwin murdered his, his, Edward the Confessor's brother. So he, he wouldn't consummate the marriage. Uh, this leads to a succession crisis. However, Harold, who's basically the Anglo-Saxon Fonz, is looking pretty good. The other rivals of the throne are the brothers of... I would imagine she'd... Oh, that's the mate, but... Um, of frustration. So you had the... You had Edwin, Earl of Mercia. And in 1065, Tosti got made Earl of Northumbria. And apparently he was a right, he was a right cock. He would go around basically being an asshole, murdering people and using Danish mercenaries. So they drove him out. And there was this is in 1065. And Edward of Mercia's brother, Morcar, was basically made Earl of Northumbria. So he had two brothers who controlled two-thirds two of the kingdom. But neither of them was made king. So after Edward the Confessor died, Harold was elected king and then married the sister of those two brothers. So all very, very Game of Thrones. Lots of murders. Earlier one guy died getting pushed down, pushed down his own cesspit. So, the game we're looking at today, there is a point to see why the media rabbiting on, is from Spectrum Wargaming by Owen and Audrey Bishop. I've done two games of this before. They build up. They build up through time. Uh, it looks at the bridge. This is bridge two. This is called Invasion 1066, and it's the Battle of Hastings. It's the only Battle of Hastings game I can find on the ZX Spectrum. So we leave it and go at this. And if it's and if we get bored of it, we'll have a look. Then have a look at the Medieval Two version, um, because Spectrum War Gaming 1985, Medieval Two 2006. So. You have to enter a couple of subroutines to expand the game. The it's the the difference between this and the bridge version two is line of sight, visibility. Troops can't see everything because well, the, you know they can't see forever, especially if there's bad weather. So the time of day affects visibility throughout the game. And whenever you come to these scenarios, you have two choices of how to enter the data. You can either Use the map generator and build the map, which has a quite nice editor. And you say, right, well, OK, I know what I need. I need to do these fields are this color. This is a hill. This is a blah, as you know. And then enter all the fields and all the tables. And it's all provided in the, all provided in the book. The list of all the armies is all in this book. And you can do all that. But if you can't be asked to do that, and I couldn't, you can just enter 2,400 numbers and hope you don't get them wrong. Which is what I have done. I don't think they did. They should have done. There's, there's plenty of money in it. Um, it's quite weird. There's a, there's a little ba in Battle of Hastings. No. Um, it's a big battle. It's like... some, some Sometimes these games are a bit odd. I was saying to my sister, the there's a Zulu Wars game that doesn't cover Walks Drift or Ishan's Rana. It's like... Yeah. So what we're now going to do... I'm now going to talk over this bit. And this bit's called Battlefield. And I do... Uh, so... We're going to look at the map together. This music is from the YouTube audio library. It's called Battle 1066. It's from Patrick Patrikios. This is not YouTube though, but I thought I'd give, give a shout out because it's rather nice. So we can't see all the map at the start because it's a ZX Spectrum, so you see a part of the screen. So this is the whole map. We zoom into the top, the north of the map, which is the top. There's another music. There we have Calbeck Hill. The Saxons start off on Calbeck Hill. The Normans need to drive them off Calbeck Hill. The red line is a road. That's the road to London. You need to get them off Calbeck Hill. The numbers represent um, elevation. Three being the highest, then two, then one. If there's no number, it's flat. Light blue is a swamp, swampy ground. Dark blue is a river and dark green is a wood. Behind the Saxon lines is a forest. A big forest. If the Normans... Watch this. That is definitely making noise. 
if the Normans can drive the Saxons into Andersrold Forest by the end of the day, they win the battle. Which is good, 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 you know, good for the Normans. However, they've only got they've got all day to do it. Because if they if they delay, the Saxons will be reinforced. So the Normans start off down the Sack. We have two rivers here. There's the River Breed, which protects the Anglo-Saxon left flank. And in front of the Anglo-Saxons on, on their right flank, in front of them, you've got a big marshy area and the Ashbourne, another river. So the defensive chapter is quite well chosen. And the Normans, oh we've seen that, hang on. The Normans are on Talbeck Hill, which we're now zooming into now. This is the number threes with the, the W. They all should be called Norman. This is Ta this is Talham Hill. This is where the, this is where the the Saxons, the uh, Normans start. So, before we start the game, let's have a little bit of a palate refresher. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Bastard? If you think you're on the run. We are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Bastard? If you think old England's done. Pop. Right. And we also we now want we've done hard rider, we've done the battlefield. Right, we need to look at the armies. The last we took it is the armies. So you have a clue what's going on. So the game uses user defined graphics. Yeah, thank you. That's a in honor of Dad's army. So the graphics you see on the screen will be those little little squares, but I've blown them up big so you can see them. The Normans have a green backing. And they have a couple of infantry units. Four cavalry units, which is the Norm Norman cavalry with spears. Hello, Richie Head Gaming. And a unit of archers. And they have two leaders, Duke William and Bishop Odo. The Saxons win if they drive the Normans back to Tellum Hill. Or if they kill Duke William and one other Norman leader. So there's Bishop Odo, who's his half-brother. We'll, we'll hear more from Bishop Odo later. So archers can fire at a range of two. Um... Cavalry and infantry can't. Some of the Saxons can also fire. Cavalry can obviously move faster. Not as, not as much faster as you think, though. But they are more powerful in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So not to get all these videos. The, to get these blown-up images, you print the user-defined graphic bottom left. And then expand it up by using uh, the point command. So this, So it wasn't just Normans invading. There's also the Bretons and a Count Alan the Red of Brittany, who was an ally of the Normans. He's, again, a couple of infantry, a few cavalry and some archers, and they have a cyan background. Of course, he, him being Alan the Red, it would be quite nice if it's a red background, but what can you do? What can you do? Again, a few units here. They, they arrived on the battlefield first. Uh, they were the, right at the forefront of the uh, Battle of Hastings, which was the 14th of October. 1066. You also had the French, some French in units here with Count Eustace of Boulogne, whose sister married um, William, the, William the Conqueror uh, or William the Bastard. And Robert de Beaumont was a Norman who was also mates with William, William the Bastard. So when he met Count Eustace's uh, daughter or sister, I forget what she was, he was like, I'm not marrying you, you're a bastard. So he pulled off her horse by her hair and gave her a pimp slap. And then she married him. But apparently it was, a, it was a loving marriage. Although that's like, yeah, that's a bit weird starting. Now you have the English army, which have a white background. Huskarls are heavily armoured. They're armed with a Dane axe. You've got a few of those. Then you've got the Select Feared, who are reasonably well armed. Armed with um, spears and swords. And the Great Feared, who are just general crappy um, levies. And there are three leaders. King Harold, who the, who the uh, Normans have to kill. And his two brothers, Gerth and Leofwine. And the two, we have to kill one of the two brothers or drive them all into the woods. So I think we're now ready. 
Yeah, girth. It's a great name, isn't it? Girth. Because uh, Coward's brother Svein died on on pilgrimage. He killed his brother Tosti in battle. Well, he, in the battle he died. Right, so we're now going to go to this screen. Ha ha! Because we are going to get started with the game. He doesn't have a fancy load. This is, this is a type-in game. And you start off with a few things. He built some utilities. Oui. Hello. Hello. Come on, Spectaculator. It's a spectacular sometimes gets a bit slow. Here we go. Right. Come along. So I, I mean, my cha my mail. It's called mail, not chain mail, because that's Walter Scott. So it's called mail. And I've got a helmet. And I've got my coif. And of course, my helmet with nose guard. Because there's no expense spent on this channel. Now, kite shields, while I'm waiting for... ZX emulator. Here we are. Right. Turn that off. Press play. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, come on. Sometimes spectacular goes, yeah, I'm not going to talk to you, mate, because you're a knob. Here we are. Load. So you get a program and then the data. The advantage of the program and the data is if you say, well, actually, I wonder what would happen if Harold had more units. You could go and give him more units. Unfortunately, because I was, I did the. You can, you can still see me, which is good. I was given a choice of how to enter things. I thought I'm not entering all the data in the editor because that will take me forever. So what I did was enter about four pages of numbers. And there's about two, there's 24 to a line and 86 lines. Of numbers and those numbers represent the the map the units um the tables used in combat because there are various tables that uses when rolling the dice it doesn't represent the user defined graphics so they enter them separately but they're quite nice you get different ones to the um different units and the units have different rules as well so like if you if you're firing archers at the the, the huskarls they do less damage if you're firing at the Great Feared or other archers, they do more damage because the, the Huskars are heavily armed. Um, some units count, some units count du the cat is double their strength in combat. Huskars, cavalry, anyone charging because they're generally better. Huskars were big bastards with great big Dane axes, which is what we like. So I'm getting bored of this. So while we're waiting for that to load, which we are, let's have ourselves introduced to one of our characters by doing this and then doing this and hopefully yes hello i am duke william hang on. of normandy hang on bastard enough of that you got no sound i am seeking to become king of england eh pourquoi non king oh, edward it, right? was my cousin and harold promised to get me the throne and i think the chapeau is rather jolly, you know? I'm on a quest to get a better nickname. Off. Transition on. Yeah, the sounds, it sounds a bit daft. Hello, I am Duke William of Normandy. Bastard! Enough of that. I am seeking to become king of England. Eh, pourquoi non? King Edward was my cousin. And Harold promised to get me the throne. And I think the chapeau is rather jolly, you know? I'm on a quest to get a better nickname. Bastard. And I have allies. Among which, the church. Right. So, 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 so the sound problems. Hopefully um, you heard that. So he was his, he was the first cousin of Edward the Confessor. I think his 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 uh, their mothers or their father married someone's mother or something stupid. But he was a bastard. He was a bastard. His his mother was a Tanner's daughter, and the Duke basically took fancy to her. Um, you he was called one of the bastards, not to his face. He didn't like it. There was a town and a castle under siege. Uh, when he was besieging it, to take the piss. They hung basically. Uh, leather hides over the sides of the castle to take the piss out of it. Oh, look at us, we're telling some hides. Ha ha ha, you bastard. 
when he captured the castle, he cut off all their hands and feet. Yeah, he didn't mess around. He didn't mess around in those days. So, we see here we are at the top left-hand side of the map. So, the keys are a bit bloody weird. So, I remember this. So, let's have a look at what they are. Um, yes, K is up. M is down. Z is left, X is right. Indeed, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a character, but they, they all were to be fair. They, they all they were various types of bastards. Um, it was the old days. So what we need to do here is see. Well, we're in the top left of the map, and we haven't got any Normans here. So we're going to scroll the map by using these little keys here. So now this is the Ashbourne River. We can't see any Saxons because we're too far away. Now, the first couple of the turns, there's going to be a little, little bit of a hang on, what am I meant to be doing now? So here, and I now want to go south and go space is fire. And see there, we've got King William. He's just there. Well, he, he's, well, let's, um, let's try and select that unit, which is going to be up. And we go right. And there are movement so there are movement rules. So leaders can move four spaces. Open ground is one space. Going downhill costs an extra space. So I'm going to try and select a unit. I'm going to try and select a unit. Well, that says AF missiles. I've, so obviously I've spelled missiles wrong. And that's been spelt wrong for ages. Let's try and... Right. I want to advance. Which is, you can either advance or you can fire. Ignore the, me the fact I can't spell missiles. So you wander across. Right. Is that what we wanted? Uh, what we want to do is select, if, select some people and move. Just about. Come on, right. Onto the square. Aha! Right. I've selected a unit. It is definitely there. And I want to advance. And it says, where do you want to move to? So I believe it's the cavalry. I'm just double checking this because I'm an idiot. Uh, no, it's not. It's, this is actually Duke William. He's got four movement points. So he can go all the way over here. He can go two down. Up one and a long one. So I reckon we can go eh, up a bit. And let's just say I can't go any further. Oh, oh actually, it was just being a bit slow. Sorry. No. Right. The keys are backwards. So he, from here, he can go open terrain, but downhill. That's two points. We can go up here, three points. Here, four points. So he's moved now. So now we go down to this guy. We're going to charge forward and hope for the best. Don't, don't expect fancy strategy. So this guy is cavalry. He can move five points. So again, we're going to go left a bit, which is two points. Up is three points. Going uphill costs more. Three. Up here is four. And then along here is five. So we've done that. Oh, that was a bit of an effort, wasn't it? But we have we have got more, we have got more of an army. There's two guys. So you've got some guys down here. Okay, there's William, or was William? Because he's just moved, possibly. Right. So working out who's where, or it's broken. Tell me these things. You never know. Is it meant to do that, or is it broken? We've got an archer. The archers can move four spaces. So if you remember, there was there was a, used to be a drink called archers, probably named, named after these guys. So he's not definitely Norman archer. 
and you're going to go four spaces one two three four to here excellent we are cooking on gas now people let's go down one eh. this is somebody attack for missile for archers perhaps who knows yeah they're archers um probably so they're going to move again four spaces so up one and then left one left two left they're going to join these and oh, no down a bit not that far don't cheat i know we're invading right and let's go along here That little bishop symbol, as you might imagine, is a bishop. Bishop Odo. We'll get to him in a, when we finish the term. We'll get look at Bishop Odo. Uh, up a bit. Down, oh, down a bit. So the squares are four, two by two, but they rep, they, they're offset slightly because they represent hexes. So you can sort of have hex at a hex. You, know, you don't move diagonally as such. No. Pardon me. So this is Bishop Odo. He can move four spaces. Top of a hill. We're going to go one, two, we're going to go up, oh, no, no, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, left a bit, here. He's shifting. Hex empty, that's fine. And down a bit. This guy is this is cavalry, and they can move five. So again, we're going to go left a bit, one up a bit, two, three, four to here, I reckon. And that'll do, I think, for this bit. So what you could what you then do is you go to the bottom, you scroll down at the bottom, and then you it's you don't do F, which F is finish, plus. If you can get to plus, oh, it's at least the keys are vaguely sensible. Right, hit on plus, and that goes to the next phase, or should do. So things are moving. We've updated the screen, although we failed to move the bishop. But at least, at least William has advanced with some cavalry and some infantry, which is a good start. Yeah, we've done that. I think. Plus. What does plus do? This was plus update the screen. I'm now going to look at the book to see what, what I'm meant to be doing. Dum de dum de dum. If it says missile command again, I'll double check it. Yep, so am I meant to press plus or not? Right. You move the troops. Yep. Advanced missile phase. To farm missiles, we're not doing farm missiles yet. Boop, boop, right, how do we leave a phase back? I've not done this for a few months actually because it's been busy. Change map section, done that. Deploy the troops, move the unit. Reset. No. Ah, when you've when you've done everything you wish, move the cursor to the F and press fire. So go to the F apparently. End of turn. Okay. Forward is continue. Fire is save. Now forward, I think, means up. Yes, it does. Excellent. Right. You've all been very, you've all been very good. So let's have a look at Bishop Odo. In nomine Christi. Amen. Hello. I am Odo. The half brother of the Duke, a Bishop of Bayeux. I will be by the Duke's side, and I have succeeded in getting him the support of the Church. The Pope himself has blessed our Bishop, because the naughty King as of England did not accept the proper Archbishop of Canterbury. I am a man of God. I may not shed blood. Hello, Pope. Good news, though. 
I won't miss out on the fun. Because I've got this. Oh, yes. And this does not count. Ha 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 ha. Sacre bleu! Coo -coo -coo. Such historical accuracy there, and good, good evening to Pope Griffin. So, we're now moving on to the second phase, the Bretons. The Bretons are the allies of the Normans. And our first problem is working out where the hell the Bretons are. We know, we know though, they have a cyan backdrop, because we were paying attention. Which probably means they're good at being in swamps. So we're now wandering around the map looking for the, looking for the Bretons who are not down here because I should be able to see the Breton somewhere oh no up a bit up a bit it does have instructions for changing the keys to use the cursor keys to be fair they say, oh if you want to use cursor keys you can do that which I've not done I've kept it original oh there they are look you see the little cyan people these are your Bretons now the order in which they flash is also important because there's a as, a, as an implied ranking order within the hex as units at the front are at the front, units at the back are at the back. And if you attack, you attack units at the front. Which, again, that makes sense. So we're going to select this cavalry unit. We're going to select this cavalry unit. So it's the square underneath. They can, he can move five spaces. So that's one, two. Going downhill costs one more. Three, four. Then he's on the level. That's five. We like this. We now go down. There was another unit in here. And this unit is also cavalry, I think. And again, he so he can move the same. Do we do we do we do. And what else we got? Come on, down we go. Now this is empty, so that's uh, now we've gone to the leader, who is the square below. This is Count Allen. The no, he's empty. Uh, so we need to go down, down a bit. Here we are. This is Allen the Red. He can move four spaces. So it's one, two, three, four. So being next, having your leader with your troops is good because it gives you a a morale bonus but also is risky because they might get killed we need to tap here's some archers they archers can move four here we are you can move oh hex is empty sorry it's a little bit pernickety how it works so we can you can move four so again one two three four I think there was another unit somewhere. You are, I think you are R. Yes. You are infantry, so you can move five. One, uh, one, two, three, four. And let's go. Uh, oh, sorry. Z. Up. Up. Five. So he's moved. We've not moved all of them, but we've moved some of them to get a flavour of what's going on. There's a quite a few interesting games in this book. We're now going to press F to move forward. We go forward with K, which is up. We should now be on the French. The reason there's no fighting is fighting happens at the end of the uh, English turn. Don't lose your helmet. You need your helmet to protect, protect your eyes. It's very important. Oof. Now let's find the French, and the French have a yellow background. I don't believe I don't believe it's a geopolitical point, but you never know these days. This is turn one. There's going to be twenty-two turns. I don't think we're going to manage all of them tonight, but I'm going to hopefully give a give you a flavour of the game. See here the. Terrain without numbers is flat, so it's zero. If you're sh if you're an archer and you're shooting downhill, you get a bonus. Shooting uphill, there's a penalty. 
If you're attacking downhill, you get a bonus. Attacking uphill, you get a penalty. That sort of thing. If you're an archer, you can shoot over other people's heads. This is a good thing, but there's a penalty in doing that because it's indirect fire. So here you've got various characters. Eustace and Robert Beaumont. So leaders do four. Oh, hello. I will allow that. Indeed, Jodie, gravity is indeed a bitch and a harsh mistress, which some people have to pay extra for. So this is Eustace of Boulogne, and he's going to go left a bit. Left, no. So I keep, I keep trying to put, do Z for N for left. We don't work that way. So that's two, three, four. Ka-chunk. Down we go. Left a bit, right a bit. Down we go. When I was doing the bridge part one, I was doing all of this and moving little cardboard counters. So this is cavalry. They can move five. So they get to move an extra space. Which is no, that's too expensive. Don't cheat. Pick the, the, the goy. Good evening, Game Covered UK. How are things, Rick? Good old Rich. Right. We are playing. This is Invasion 1966. No, 1066. It's not football. It's not football. Um, it goes beep. This is probably Archers, uh, which is a peach schnapps drink. Named in honour of Bowman. Although Bowman had been in the news recently and for not good reasons. So that horrible thing in Norway. Um, which is not very nice. Hey, hello, Mark. I was thinking of Mark the other day. Because um, I was doing my anarchy with Bob Spielberg. I thought, ooh, I could dress, dress up like a punk. But I thought, I haven't got any wigs. I'm not, I'm not buying wigs. I'm not made of money. I'm not bloody made of money. Um, so I didn't. But that would have been ideal, though. Absolutely ideal. So, uh Two, we move. We have to, you have to do all your movement yourself. That's one point. Two, three, going downhill, uh, and then remember who it gets worse. You get to combat. So this is ca cavalry. The red number represents their morale, and cavalry is, I think, has worse morale than other people, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe because their horses are a bit nervous. I'd, I'd love... Oh, don't go that way. I expect you on the fisherman's friend. So let's go here. Here we are. Here are some archers. So go downhill. Two, three. That'll do. Excellent. That stuff was a bit rough. I was thinking, oh, because it because of the normal, like, I could be on the Calvados, but I, I don't. I think I think I drank all the Calvados. Excellent. We had we had um down down it's two, three. Four, five. So I reckon that'll do for the... F hey, oh, hello. Oh, thank you for the subscription. It's very kind of you. You get access to snorkers and moats. Uh, I believe there's two at level one, which are... Uh, and... Um, but there are definitely two. Uh, yeah, when I moved house, uh, we bought this house. Um, let's go forward with K. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, with K. Um, I got seborrheic dermatitis from it. It was like, yeah, it's just really, really grim. So now you have to English. Oh, look, look, we've got English, English people. English people. Good old England. Because we don't like foreigners coming over here and taking our jobs. And they're all over the place, the English. Look at them, all over the bloody place. But we can see we've got H for Harold, L for Leofwick, and G for... Oh, bloody hell. That's not good. So to take off the stress, how about a bit of Howard Godwinson? Because we've got him. Eh. Howard Godwinson. Do. And bomb. And do. There's one doing to foot. But don't worry. Or you've got my eye out for troublemakers. You've got my brother Spain, who's betrayed me. You've got that bastard in Normandy. And then there are Norwegians up to trouble. But have no fear. Howard Godwinson is here. Oh, yes. I have been elected king by the Witangamar, the wise men of the kingdom. A couple of years back, I defeated the Welsh. I'm a master general, and it'll be, anyone will be hard, hard put to defeat me. We've got a strong army. 
We've got loyal troops in the north to defend them against the Norwegians. And I'm in the south watching, watching them, their Frenchies. It's all going to be lovely. Just you wait and see. Look at that historical accuracy. It's absolutely perfect. Apart, apart, apart from I got, I got the wrong brother. Hello, Tiger Mac. It, it wasn't Spain in between you. It was Tostig. I had to go and edit the um, Tostig video because I kept saying Spain. Spain was also his brother. He was Earl of Hereford. But he um, was driven out in the early 1050s and died on pilgrimage. So, we are now the English with a white background. In theory, this may work. Let's see if this actually works. No, not you. Next. This may or may not work, who knows. Harold. Harold. There we are, see? Authentic, authentic Anglo-Saxon uh, use. So, we've got various units of varying levels of shitness. So, if, if you recall, the blokes standing with the spears are the Great Feared. And they're not very good. There's one of them here, though. He's standing here on the, on the rud, as we say in Norfolk. He can move four spaces. So he's going to select him. What ho, stalkers! Huzzah! No, no worries. Good, good old Ed. Um, so he, this is... And he's, got, he's got morale of six, which is a bit shit. But what we're going to do, though, just for fun, he's going to advance. That's one space. That's, that's, two, that's, that's one movement point. Uh, two, three movement points. Four movement points. Which are here. We're going to be bold, you see. He's going to uh, he's going to see what's going on, because we don't know where the where the Normans are yet. He's going to advance like an idiot. These guys, this is the select feared. They can only move three points because they're they're much more heavily armoured. Bomb. You hold down space and wait for, wait for the best. So each so he he can go. That come on down a bit here. That's two movement points. And then along there, that's three. Got to, got to remember these numbers. It's all about the memories of the numbers. All about the memories of the numbers. Right. We've also got another select feared men here. These were like better. These are proper militia. These are like the territorial army type militia. Whereas the great feared are more like random people, random people from the pub. Yeah, I had horrible ulcers at university, so I didn't eat properly. So this is the they can move three spaces. Like he can move up here. But the king and his brothers are on top of the hill. It's what we like. Because it starts. The day starts early. And we're going to go here. Uh, and go down to. Come on. Because the longer the Normans wait, the, they get reinforcements. They, we know what's reinforcements. This is the general feared. They can move four, I think. Yeah, they can move. They can move. Great, the great feared can move four. If you watch the um two, three, four. If you watch the Stamford Bridge stream, the, we had the the select feared and the and the uh, general feared. It's the same. It's, it's the same thing. And the Huskars don't move very fast at all. Um, but they all they are also Huskars are also bloody brilliant. They take less damage from um archers. So we can go one, two, three, four. Bump. I like I like this movement. We have we have, the the Saxons have lots of units. Some of them aren't very good though, but we have lots of them, and we start off in a very good position, which is nice. So this is a game from nineteen eighty five. In top, it's it's in basic, but it handles memory in a quite a clever way. It does lots of poking. Lots of, so there there you go. The guys with the the axes are the Huskars. So we're in an excellent position. So apart from that one guy I've set forward to get slaughtered because I hate him and I maybe want to steal his house. Well, no, got another guy on the right. We don't. We want him to not be a knob. Look at him on his own. He's going to get slaughtered there. So come out of the woods. We just, oh, no. We select you. I think some of the cursor stuff might be broken. So he's got four movement points. And he can go... On the level, that's one. Crossing a river costs two. And then entering a marsh, we have we have to stop. That's only one hex per move. 
because mar the mar marshes aren't very good. So you haven't, you haven't got enough to enter the marsh. But oh, hello. Yeah, I, I read, I read some. No, actually, I didn't watch that video. However, what I did do, I there's an as a book nostalgia would recommend it called Making It Stick, Making Ideas Stick, and the guys that discovered it were, Austra were Australians, so they were like, we don't believe you, and I said, oh, well, we we done some studies, and people, most people, you know, a lot, lot, most people with ulcers have these bacteria. But not everyone does. We don't, we don't believe you. It's a back and forth. Making ready. So in the end, he basically brewed up a big pot of these um, these ba bacteria and drank it. And then strangely enough, a week later, he, he started getting summer cold. So I said, well, yeah, that's not really proof because um, you haven't actually got ulcers yet. So then he did it again and then said, oh, OK, then. Then he actually believed him. But it's just really bizarre. It's like, you know, you think you think it's this because they say you know everyone's got most people got ulcers have this bacteria. So this might be turn two. We like turn two if it is turn two. So remember, the dark green is a wood, light green is open ground, light blue is a marsh, ha ha, and dark blue is a river. It's a river. And by, by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, and we can only see within a certain uh, radius of where we are. And at the start of the day, you can see less because it's a bit misty. Like in the film, play misty for me. So there we are. We've got some Normans. So the Normans can see themselves. Every, each army can see themselves and, and units of the enemy can see. So we're not quite sure where we are at the moment. So what we're going to do is advance. Is what we've got and hope for the best so norman infantry they can move four spaces because they're faster than the feared hang on right left a bit i think we have to go down a bit right four spaces on the flat one on the flat two down the hill four then we've got some cavalry they can move five spaces which is on the flat one, on the flat two, on the flat three, down the hill five, because it's plus one for going downhill, plus two for going uphill. Then we've got William, who is this guy. He can move four spaces. Oh, hex is empty, sorry. Okay, we'll go there, we'll go there then. Are you in this space then? Yes, you are. Someone's working at where they are actually the numbers is a little bit tricky. This is looks like cavalry, perhaps, or infantry. So you can go five then. Which is one, two, three, four, five. When I change this, I think I put in little lines at the bottom of the numbers. To make it a little bit easier to see where the um, hexes were. So this is William himself, he can move four. One, two, three three can't go, can't go down the hill though because when you've got the numbers you can see what's going on when you've got in the flat it's like am i am i going up one or across one it's quite it's a little bit tricky to see but the idea of the uh hexes is quite is rather elegant i think that's rather nice so give it some cavalry in this square and we're going to go along one it's one two a long one to here, three, four. I need to go over here, which is this square. Next, no, no, next to the two. And that'll do us, I think. So, look, so we're not, we're not going to play an epic game. You, there are options to play this game with two multiple computers. It's a four player game with hidden movement. So, we're going to go forward. We now need the Breton. So you're going to get a flavour of how the game works, get some combat, get to see how the combat works, and then we might have a look at, at maybe um, Harbour State, look at Total War 2, Medieval Total War, which is 20 years older, younger, even not older. I can't do maths. So we're now looking for the French, the Bretons even. The Bretons are cyan background, which should be in their camouflage in the swamps. 
There's some very interesting games in this book. There's one which is about Napoleon in a... It, it's, it's, and it still is. It's still really good. And it's amazing. You look at this and then go, okay, we move on a little, you move on a bit in time. You get, yeah, they get what they want to do here. You've got terrain effects. You've got, you've got stuff. You've got all uh, going, attacking the, the rear and all the rules. But some of it is based on, you have to use the, use the tables as well to know that, hang on, you're, you are attacking this unit up a hill. Therefore, you, have to, you put them, you put the modifiers on yourself, mate, kind of idea. So you've got somewhere. Right. So it scores at the bottom of the screen. It's got here in this 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 square here you've got some cavalry. They can move five spaces. Going uphill costs an extra two. So that's three. On the level is four. And then we have to stop. Because going uphill so let's, so let's not go uphill, that'd be stupid. Let's just charge forward. One, two, up a bit, three, four. Then woodland is more. So we're stopping, stopping outside the woods. Let me go down. Anyone else in this square? There is another cavalry. We like cavalry. So let's, let's charge you before. Let's go one behind. Anyone else in this square? X is empty. Right. And now we've got some archers here. And they can move four. Yes, they can. So down. So let's go. Along one is one, up one, two, three, and four. And also, we I think we had Count Alan the Red. Alan's deep bath, and he can move four. So again, you know, this is not a masterful tragedy game. We're trying to see a, a, bit, a bit of fun with it. Because otherwise, you might be here for three weeks. Provided the game doesn't break. Move forward. So I'm, this is not not accelerated. So it, it works reasonably well. Um, I've not done any acceleration. There's, I, I, there's little machine code. If any, just to handle the, moving the map around, I think. So this is the French now. Before we move back to the English. So you, you move down to the bottom of the screen. And then get to scroll the map. In the four directions. So the light blue is swamp. So when you design these maps, you can you can design your own maps. By the way, these are the map editor. You see, basically pick terrain. So, you know, I've got various terrain types. What do you want? There, what you know, roads, that sort of thing. Give them different colours. And there's one game in the book in the book later on set on an alien planet, which has changeable terrain. So they have actually like um, volcanic eruptions and that. So let's let's move these French kindergits. And they can move five. Five movement points. So that's on the level is one. On the level is two. Downhill is three, four. And then onto here is five. So he's moved. I said we're all charging all over the place like, like maniacs. Because we don't know where the enemy are. Hex is empty. We've got some infantry. They can move four. So he's going to go up this time. One. Two. Three. Four. So the actual movement court is that marsh you get to move one space a turn. Wood costs double to move into. Going uphill costs plus two. Downhill plus one. So this is an archer, I think it was. And archers can move four. So left is one, uphill is three, four. But shooting down here is good. And I think this is Count Allen. Allen's deep bath. Yeah, this is cavalry now, I think. They can move five, one, two, three, four, five. I don't like the fact that this blob appeared. I, I don't know what I can. I think that means they have moved, but I'd like to know what they were. And then this thing here, up a bit, right a bit, yeah, you, you're definitely cavalry, you can move five. So along here, along here, okay, up here, one is, then it's 
two, three, four, five. There is a line of sight somewhere. So we're all spreading out and we're having a, having a jolly, jolly, jolly boys outing. Hex empty. Okay, that's fine then. So we've moved people around, possibly wrong, but we're giving it a go. I don't think it will. It's that Twitch. It's Thursday. It's Hastings Day. It's Hastings Day. I'm going to press F. And we're going to press to continue. Oh, I'm going to, because just for Jim, just for Jim's pleasure. It's Hastings Day. 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 Hastings Day. That's what day it is. Oh, yes. You know, good, good old Danny John Jules. So, this is Invasion 1066 by... Uh, Harold. Not by Harold. It's by Owen and Audrey Bishop. It's from the book Spectrum War Game. They cost me about 20 quid. But at the time, it cost a tenner. And it's rather good. This, this moves on to the chapter, which is Hidden Movement. So at the moment, we're bonding around the map looking for each other. But most of the English, who are, have the white background, I hope he doesn't. We're probably not going to get that far. Um, because we haven't, we haven't got into combat yet. But we are... Oh, hang on. Helps him in the emulator. What we are going to do is move some armies around. The armies of the white background are the Anglo-Saxons, or we call the English, because it's a bit shorter. And English is spelt with six letters, and that's deliberate because the armies are quite short. So these guys are the great feared, who are basically general militia, who are a bit shit. And they get to move four spaces. Four you for so not four spaces, folks. Four movement points. So Oh hello. No worries, Jody. Have a nice time, mate. Have a nice time. So it's one, two, and then he can't move anymore. Because going uphill will cost one point for moving plus two for going uphill. So you just shuffle a bit to the right. Now these guys, who look like swords, these are your select feared, and they can, they can move even slower. So they can move three movement points, which basically means they get to move one space uphill. And that's your lot. So the little H is King Harold. Oh, he's really empty, it's here. Look at what hex you're looking at. Because each hex is four character squares. It's not empty. Oh, is it not you? Okay. So I don't know why it's saying it's empty, because I can see someone in those bloody bastards. They're probably just skiving. We had another guy who went to attack. Now somewhere, we, oh, we've got the guys with the, the big axes. They are the Huskarls. And somewhere I've got some numpties trying to cross, cross, a, cross a swamp. So he gets to move into the swamp, but then you've got to stop. Because the swamp is obviously all swampy in that. Like that bloke from the, um, the bypass. So cavalry stop in the swamp as well. So that is turn two. And we haven't found each other yet, but we will. Oh. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Um. Ah, okay. Go to fifty. There we are. That's a bit weird. Um. I think I must. Have, I must have pressed space for a mistake. Hopefully. And hopefully they've not lost the game. Hopefully it's thinking about something. Hopefully. Because I was. I was vaguely enjoying that. Because see, not seeing how it's moving together. I hope a few. That's better. I, I I activated emulator mode. Indeed, that looks good. He's all he's, he's all crusty, crusty, some sort of crusty, crusty jugglers. Indeed, yes. Yeah, like, oh, oh shit! Because if you press space, he goes, "Yeah, I've saved the game." Bye. What? I've not asked you to save. 
it gets a bit confusing. Um, I managed to win the Gallipoli game by completely cheating. Because if you, in Gallipoli, if you move your troops, then break into the game with break, you could then go back to the start of your turn and move them again as if by magic. Oh, here we are. Here's the Normans. Because I wanted to know, actually, this with Gallipoli, is it actually possible, is it mechanically possible to win? As in, if you, if you do what it asks you to do, do you win? And yes, you do. So if you move enough troops into the, um, what's it called? The, the uh, ammo depot, you win the game. So that's fine. Um, two, four, five. Except actually how you do that without actually cheating, I don't bloody know. Because it's, you know, the shooting sections, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's, um, well, maybe there's lag. It is very naughty, but it's, it's, it's important to as a, as a test. Because I was playing it and whenever I had a battle... I couldn't see how you'd ever have a battle without taking more casualties than the enemy. I said, well, I don't know how I'm meant to, meant to do anything here. Aha! So, you can see, on the right, we can see a cyan chap. That's one of our Breton allies. We, we know where he is. He's coming out of the marsh. But we're about to go into the marsh. So we're going to send... Uh, these cavalry into the marsh, which is like... No, no, no. No, no, into the marsh, thank you, all swampy, we're going to send King William again into the marsh somewhere, possibly, in, so you can go here, and then downhill then stops in the marsh, and then Mr Cavalry, again we're going to go, moving forward, one, bomb, into the marsh, and that will do for us, I reckon. Because we can't be asked to move everyone else. The others will be here for a long, long time. So you press space. So the problem I had is I press space, but press space slightly too long, and that goes on to save and quit. So we press continue instead. We're going to persevere with this until about half eight. Um, I want to kill somebody, or have somebody die at least. And then we can have a look at um, another old game, Medieval, Medieval 2, which does have a Battle of Hastings scenario, which actually looks rather nice. So we're going to go now and find the Bretons. They're, no, those are Normans. We should, have, we should have moved folks we can see, is our rule. It's a good rule, I think. So this is the Ashbourne River at the top right of the map. The map's about... Three screens wide by about four screens deep. And you can basically build a map as how you know you basically put in a, however many pieces you like. Uh, so the map for the bridge that was 40 columns wide by 25 um high, which wasn't bad. So we're now going to go downhill, which is added one movement point, into a forest, which is two. So that's gonna be three movement points. So three, yeah, three movement points to a downhill. And then if we go along here. That's his four movement points, possibly. Well, I've just cheated. I don't know. Um, it's kind of hard to tell these days. We've got some cavalry, though. We like cavalry. They can definitely move five. So one, two, three, four. But, it's, but the Glippin is an interesting game. Because, well, so I, can, I can see it's a, you know it's a war game, but well, a game that you can't win at all is that like, well. But what's what's the point of that then? It's it's not even like, oh, it's like not it's like one it's, it's not they wrote a game would be like one of these indie games, would be completely you know oh it's meant to be impossible. Ha ha ha! I'm, I'm laughing at you. And I can and the Glippin campaign almost worked on a number of occasions, but then everything went wrong. Like. They, they they loaded the ships wrong and they went they turned up late and they didn't surprise people and they didn't advance and they could have advanced and then they didn't unload the supplies and then no one was like oh it's just like gee, everything went wrong the only thing that, that went right was the evacuation the evacuation went absolute clockwork it was amazing the evacuation they did so well because with evacuation it, once the enemy knows you're leaving they'll probably attack 
So they had, they had to very sneakily try and evacuate. So we're going to move this French Knigget, who is a yellow background. And he, he can move five unit five space units. So that's if we stay on, if we stay on number one is a low hill. So that's two, three, four. Ingo here. No worries, Random. We ain't going we ain't going nowhere. It's not for a while. Uh so we're just, just moving things forward, just try and get a bit of action because we like a bit of action whenever you reset restart a, a turn it defaults to the top left of the map which for this game isn't bad for the english when you're playing the bridge it was annoying because no one started there and most of the units were well the germans came from the right hand side and the french and the allies were at the bottom left so that was a bit of a faff so what we're trying to do roughly speaking we're going to send this Great feared man. He didn't have a look, trying to look to find where the, where the uh, invaders are. He's got four movement points. So going uphill costs plus two. And then going to here is four. That's probably going to be enough. And we had another guy over on the left flank. Oh, yes. I'm using all the middle. Oh! We can see some Normans. We can now see people. We couldn't see them before. They were too far away. We can now see them. And they're on the far side of the Ashbourne River. And I've got a guy in a swamp. Right. So Swampy. He can go... A little bit forward. And he's waiting on the far side of the, of the river. Which sounds like a good place to stop. For defensive purposes. And we go. And we... Very gently finish. And go forward. I was checking. When, when do we get into the fighting? That's what we're going to fight people. Right. Yes, so the game starts just after dawn. Charge units, blah, 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 blah. So it's now, I think it's now 10 o'clock. So we've now got, we've now got better. So turns one to four. Vision is restricted to five hexes. And, but during the day, after it's, um after turn four, it's seven hexes. And during the last couple of turns, it's down to three hexes. So this is the Normans now. We've generally not been about. No. Excellent. Right. Aha. So I, the, the Normans can now see the English. This is now turn four. So we can see a bit more. So I've got a guy over here. Actually, I think I think might be able to uh, move the map. To the east. I think it goes half a screen. Just loading it. So you can see, yeah, we've got some guys there. And, oh, look. There's a guy there standing in the middle of the nowhere. So I think I can charge him. But I believe... What we need to do is not do stuff in the in the shooting phase, but go forward to the next phase. I think F is next phase. Let's double check this. I don't, I've not played this for a while. Phase. So when I press F, what do I do? I press F. Turn one. Right, this ends the phase. I want to get into the charge phase. Not yet, obviously. That's a bit of a shame. I wanted to charge him. I could have moved into him, apparently. But advancing. That's in the advance phase. 
there's something like you can't move into an enemy space or something ba -ba 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 -ba. hex empty general dispositions can't change blah, blah, blah. right here's the bretons so let's move it's certainly a there's a lot of game here it's working out what, what i'm meant to do and what can i because there was something about oh you can't attack until a certain turn or something but i want to attack because certainly you've got the high ground but we're definitely going to charge and kill some people definitely want to kill some people so where are the Bre oh the bretons are over here some in the woods right the bretons are in the woods and then coming out into a swamp so they've done a really stupid advance uh he can go one two and then swamp and i've got some breton cavalry down a bit fire up a bit two four and that's all that's all she wrote that'll do for the breton because i want to get into some killing I want to charge. Unless I'm also doing something wrong with not being able to charge. This should now be the French. You know, there was a there was a French unit around somewhere. I think he had, he had his eye was looking for somebody. So I think if we go south, ooh, we have a French unit. So, I want this guy to charge. He can move five, so he can go uphill, which is four, and along is five in a charge. But I think I have to be in the charge phase to do it. But I'm gonna select him anyway, because the Normans didn't get a charge phase, which could mean I'm an idiot. It's always possible. So I want to be in this square. It may or may not let me. It let me do that. So in theory, that the in the English phase, there might be some combat. Possibly. It would be nice to have a little reaction. And a little less conversation. Right, end phase, continue. English phase. So I've got a French cavalry. I can see Norman cavalry. We're all on the hill. So if you've been four play, you just see change um, seats between goes. Or we can also have, there's also instructions in the next chapter to connect two spectrums together with some interface one cable or something, and then do it that way via serial. Um, so let's pardon me uh, uh down a bit let's go east we're watching these normans there's some normans hanging around they're having a nice time but we're happy on our hill so we're staying on our hill we don't need to leave our hill we've got all day we've, we've brought a pat lunch probably possibly a plowman's that'd be quite nice a plowman's so we ain't we ain't moving. I think army might be reset. End of turn. Continue. Making ready. Checking the book. Because at some point I expect there to be some combat. There should be some combat at some point. They are alive, but but everyone's alive because no one's dying. Um. Which is like, okay. Charge phase may now charge right okay you can advance into enemy units interestingly the cavalry have, have missile weapons because the cavalry threw spears at people javelins um because they weren't they weren't there weren't really lances as yet lances were a bit later so when do right 
So this should be the Normans again. The player is in advance mode. Fine. You can change the fire mode. Huskars can't fire. Fine. You can't attack. A movement only phase. The charge phase. Right. Having missed it out of the book or something stupid like an idiot. It's always possible I've missed something out. Hide and reveal. Yeah. Second attack. Is that a char no, the, the, I remember there being a charge phase. Command. Right. So what I'm trying to do is I want this Norman cavalry. On his little horsey to charge in and attack. And I'm going to do that now myself. It doesn't count as a charge, but then we get double double points anyway because we're brilliant or something. So we, are, we, we and you are allowed to do it, and you get to move five spaces. So we're going to do that. We're going to charge the great feared, and hopefully we'll get some kind of action. That hex is empty. Right, here we are. So, we get a move now. Up one, along two, three, and here. So move to the here. That'll do for us. Just let us kill somebody, please. Just kill somebody, anybody. I don't know what plus does. Finish the phase, end of turn. Right. I want to see what plus does. Bear with me, folks. It's like, what is, when, you, when you put the cursor on plus, what does it mean? What does it mean? The bridge with map. Fine. Plus. Go to 2250. Okay, fine. Okay. Let you, was you plus one? What? It's very mysterious, isn't it? Um, just let us kill somebody. That's all we're going to do. Kill somebody. All right. We'll find the Bretons. They're, over, they're on the right in a swamp, aren't they? Because you let, let them in a swamp. A swamp in the woods. But if they get them out, if they get them out of the swamp... Have I won? Have I lost? I remember there was some sh there was definitely some shooting in the World War Two game um, because I kept missing. Apart from one guy who used a heavy a medium machine gun at very close range, and that's right, that didn't miss and that killed somebody. He's going to move one space because he's in a swamp. Diddling, ding, 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 ding. And you are also going to move into the swamp. Into the swamp. Come on. Right, that will do. This is not good tactics. What does plus do? Does that display the screen again? It might just display the screen again. Ah, it does. Okay. So plus just displays the screen nicely. Which is fair enough. At least we now know what it is. What a mysterious game. What a mysterious game. I've got, and I've got 17 viewers watching it. So we're going to end the turn. The Bretons aren't fighting anybody, which is okay. But there should be a combat turn at the end of the English phase. Because there's a there's French cavalry and Norman cavalry in combat with great feared units. So there should be some kind of interaction. This is the French, though. East Dame input because he's going to square with some with some baddies, and let's move forward. Yeah, the hill. Hello, Saucer Brain. Well, at the moment, the which we're trying to get 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 a grip to the system. We've been playing for about an hour. We're now on the end of um, I had one crash. Um, we advanced some troops forward, and we're trying to work out how the interface works. We've worked out how movement works. Which is alright, to be fair. It's uh, The hex is a little bit confusing, but we got there. And we have two 
cavalry units from the French and the Normans, theoretically speaking, in combat with the English, but no one's fighting each other yet. And I'm not quite sure why. So we're trying to find out. And hopefully, hopefully, right. That's very strange, isn't it? That's very strange. That's very, very weird. In theory, you can shoot. So we're going to... We're, we're, and, and the cavalry can apparently throw things at people. So we're going to try that instead. In the hope of actually... Kill, you know, we want at least some blood. It's all very, very weird. So type this in. You, you take the existing game and then you add a couple of subroutines which do the visibility. And they're working well. Because you've seen troops appear, which is, you know, what you want. And apparently there are tables which control, miss, you know, oh, here we are. There are tables for fighting based on, and shooting, including, you know, if, let's say, that if you're fighting one-to-one -one, um, and you do, you might, you might lose 10% of your attackers, 25% defenders, or think words to that nature. Right. So Normans... You hex is O oh. because he's French, that's why. Sorry, folks, I'm being stupid. It's not a bug. Well, it's not yet. It's not yet a bug. That's that's a that's not a Norman unit. You can't. The Normans can't command the French. Ah, good news is uh, I can I can keep that unit there. Move this cavalry forward. Oh fuck! It. I'm going to cheat. Because I want to see what happens. Oh, thank you, the follower, Mayor Monkey. Right. This cavalry can move. Uh, and then into the into the swamp. So we're not going to... Let's not cheat yet. But next soon we're going to start cheating. And the idea is, if I press the plus button, he's now adjacent to the enemy unit, therefore can throw things. Maybe spears. Remember, not lances. They were mainly overhead spears for the um, Norman cavalry. So the units of the white background are the English, and then that you can stack units in a square, which is nice. We now know what plus. I think F. I think R is reset. This now goes on to the French. Who we're going we're gonna to stay where they are? Why isn't it? It should be doing something like, yeah, yeah, if you've got units in the same square that are enemy units, it detects it. Positional lines. Deploy. Turn, command, hex empty. Close combat. All resolved. Reading fire tables, that sort of thing. It's very odd. Oh, hello. Hello, we've got a charge phase. We've not had a charge phase before. We've not had a charge phase before. I'll be waiting for a charge phase. Right, this means you can charge and get a bonus in combat. But only for units that haven't already um, moved. So this is, so, so infantry can move five. So I reckon this infantry can charge across the river. Crossing over is two. I reckon we can do a charge. And then we might be able to have some combat. Right. So you are going to charge across the river. Into this square. You must you must end in a square with the enemy. Which we have done. So in theory, we hopefully will slaughter this bloke. And end of turn. Now the French, which are yellow, they're not charging, they're staying put. But they count double because they're because they're cavalry. I 
I like the units. This is the or Breton phrase. The Bretons are over on the right hand side. Uh, we go down. We go east. Bretons have a cyan background. So there's a guy in the swamp. And then there's two guys in the swamp. We're going to move them. They have a, have a whole army, but we've actually left most of the army behind because I'm getting. I want to see how the game works. And I'm, this is me discovering it anew. Like, I was a bit surprised to find out the you couldn't attack until turn five, turn six. Indeed! French and Welsh. Um, they are super. And they, they like their galettes. So if I can select this square, I can move him north. There's rules are if you if you get around the side of the enemy, you get to do, you know you get to attack people at the back of the square, and if you kill half the half the troops of a leader, you kill the leader, which is nice. And they'll say a charge. This will be a charge phase of the Bretons. I think, maybe. So you can see the troops on the hill. There's some guys hanging about on the hills. You know, we can see lots of them hanging about. Breton charge phase. We're leaving that put. We're not charging. We're ending this phase. Now it's the French movement. Again, we're skipping that. We're going to have some fighting. And then look at Medieval 2, I think. We're going to see how the killing works. Missile, the advanced fire missile phase. We don't want that. Bomb. The charge phase. We don't want that. We want to get the combat phase. And it does it one square at a time. And it, and it does say you need, to, need a, a bit of paper and a pen to write down some unit numbers. So, which I've got. Which I have got, because I am prepared for all manners of war. I am the very model of a modern Major General. So we go end this phase. Up a bit. Continue. English turn. I, I did see somewhere it said you couldn't attack until a certain turn. But I didn't know we really was enforcing it. Apparently it does. You can't attack until a certain turn because probably everyone's having their tea. Right. So we end this turn. It should this will be the charge phase? Then we should have some combat, and there will be there will be modifiers, which is good. Hopefully. Please. English charge phase. No, no one's charging. Up, right, fire. I don't know why there wasn't any combat. There should be combat at the end of the English phase. We've got two units in the same square. I've now expelled out the emulator. Exactly, yes! They did, and it was very good. Right, I've, I've made the emulator a lot faster. I'm skipping on, in, in case there's some sort of nonsense that you can't fight until a certain turn. Right. So we'll we have one more English turn. And then, we're not calling it a night, but, but we're, we're doing a different version of the Battle of Hastings. One from 21 years later. And one that I haven't actually typed in. So it's the French phase. Because I think there's a good game here, but it's not quite working. And I'm not quite sure why. Because I could, there's lots of rules for different units. And Huskals, you know, don't are slow. And they have their better at defence. And they can't throw missiles. And archers can shoot. And get both did that and the other. But, so, well, but, but no one's dying. Right. That's it. We're going to save this. As a set, as a snapshot, because we can, because we know we're not throwing our toys at the cop. Uh, no, excuse me. 
We've given it a go. We've given it a go. But it's going to take some time to work out what's up with it. Also, the keys are shit. Um, ZX is actually all right. But ZX KM is a bit... There's a certain logic to it. But I don't like. Um, here we are. F. I'm saving this. Spectrum War game. Invasion. That'll do. In there. What we are going to do now. We close this. We close. Yes, I want to close that. Thank you. I want to. I want to start Steam. Get on top. Steam. Come on, Steam. And I want. Here we are. And one of these buttons. Now, what I don't want. So. Steam's now gone full screen. I've got my, my other screen next to me. So we'll hopefully have a go at this. And actually hopefully get some killing done. So hopefully it should be. If I, oh, it's gone full screen, which is slightly annoying. Um, ah, hang on. That's better. It always helps if you to activate steam sharing so steam sharing should pop up we have to we have to be the normans um it doesn't let it doesn't let you play the anglo-saxons here we are i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping it's going to Historical battle. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I know that. Am I? Yeah, okay, what I'd like. Hello. I've asked to share. No, uh, well, unless you lose. Um, I says Steam. The element is too small to be displayed. That's nice, but I want to sh Steam. Can you? Yeah, Steam. Steam. I know you. Open the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Done. Because I've got Steam. Right click. Right click. Right. I've not tried doing Steam before. I know people have done. Oh, no, no. Don't launch it. Don't launch Steam. Right. Hang on. Right, so, so it's definitely loaded Steam, but I can't see. Right, let's do it again. Okay, Steam. Get rid of Steam. Yes, remove Steam. Right, plus. Let's add a game capture. Yes, Steam, maybe. Is that a new source? Steam, please. There we are. And um, we're looking for, yeah, capture any full screen application, done, add tab. Right, let's see if this does anything. Let's see if this does anything at all. Let's see. I'm, I'm waving at the camera. Right, no, it's not. It's been a bastard. I've got it on my screen. I've said capture this. Right, where are you? Where is it gone? Steam please is here. Properties. Why are you being shit? Capture specific window. Window is this one. Done. Tab. Right. Sorry, folks. We are going to get sorted because I've seen it done. I'm waving. It's on my screen now. I'm waving. No, it's shit. Right. Why can't you do a thing? Right, okay, let's, let's try a different way. Yeah, let's now do... Right, add. Yeah, 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 we'll get there. Display capture. My monitor. Yes, done. Oh... I know why the cage bird sings. The game source. I'm, I'm an idiot. Game capture. Add source. Steam. 
add source transition transition right let's see if this works no worries jim we'll see if we actually got anything turning up i'm now waving just see if it's done anything sensor no it's still shit sorry folks we're not going to get that right get rid of that add move you game capture add source add in cancel add display capture add source my monitor add source yes capture the cursor that is here transition we're now getting some horrible droster effect and tab oh hello and it's lost it hi mr russell oh hello no we've got it so what we had mr russell was a look at the game invasion which was a uh, from the 1985 book uh spectre wargaming and we had about six or seven turns and we look at this right come on there we are so what we had and we got into co we didn't actually manage to get into combat we had units next to each other yeah all right so it's improved now so this is 20 this is 20 years better so this game is 20 years in the future of what we had and there's look at the difference 20 years can make compared to not this is 2006 to 1985 but then compare 2006 with today this is lovely isn't it it's amazing so we had you now we had knights charging the um the militia and then the game wouldn't actually have any combat i was like okay we, we, you know, we weren't playing it really really yeah I'll, in a minute mate in a minute um hang on. let's turn the volume down right where is this let's turn it down right yeah um if you play the, in, the, in the invade things if you want to play it properly you can say you have to insist that the archers score a hit on the um archers score a hit on the anglo-saxons and then having done that uh you have to charge with the cavalry to be historically correct So I'm going for the Harold's brothers, Gerth and Leofric. The reason I went to the side first is because they've got shields. If you get around the side, though, the shields are less useful. Yay! So I've already killed Gerth. Which is nice. So what I like doing is do what it says. Because you got guys on a hill, you ain't gonna capture them. Yeah, it's, it's a funny the girth. It's a great name. They're, they're good names back then. Um and of course they still have the patronomics. So you had obviously Harold Godwinson, because obviously he was the son of Godwin. And he married here we are. So the archers are still shooting. Because my preferred way of doing this is just charge. Which is what we're going to do eventually. Make your mind up, mate. I can't do both. So, anyway, so King Howard's at the back. So they're all infantry. So that's... I bet you are. I bet you are. Look at this. It was paid, but it was pre patriots So I send these guys into attack. 
Cause my, my, my preferred route of attacking is usually it's called the control A approach. Look at that, lovely. They're all marching around now. They don't like it up them. They don't like it. See, they don't like it up them at all. Nah, you're fine, mate. What we do is control. We group these somehow. How do we group them? Group. Ah, indeed. Right. So that then they're advancing a bit. So, if in doubt, massive cavalry charge. That's what you want. No messing about. And people are already running away. Which is never a good thing. So I've not lost a general assault, which is not the best move, because these guys are running off. So let's try and get round the side. So this is not, again, not the best tactics. However, we are trying. No, cavalry versus spearmen is a bad idea. Yay! That's very true, because we sank our boats. Hello, Doc Flux! We definitely had that in here. Where are we? If in doubt, where is King Harold? But look at this. Look at individ individual soldiers all um, all organised. Look at that. Now our cavalry are not tanks. What we can do is you get around the side and you charge them in. That's what you need to do. So this is how not to win a battle. You want to get them off the hill, not charge up the hill. Oh dear. I don't think this has gone very well. Whoops. So Duke, Duke William killed a lot of people. We definitely got more killing done. So let's try it again. Ah, nice one. We had, um, especially meatballs for our tea. Yeah, we, we had, had to go at a Spectrum game. We played for an hour and a half and nobody died. And it's like, well, I'm, I don't know why nobody died. It's like, I want people to die. Anybody to die. And we we brought some troops forward. Um, in this one, he's got really good... Right, we'll do that then. Group that. Right, we're, just, we're trying to be a bit, a bit more clever. Been a bit, we're trying to be a bit the old, the old outflanking. Because we're not doing that. It's clever. Whereas charging up the hill is stupid and everyone died. Yeah, we're like, oh, literally it's like the game wouldn't even let us go into battle. And there might be a reason for it. But I don't understand it. So what we're doing at the moment, we're shooting the... We're trying to kill his brothers. His brother's Girth and his brother Leofwine. 
Because if you kill them, then they, they uh, break their command structure, apparently. And that's also true in Invasion 1066, the game you can see behind behind the uh, sound alerts. Yes! Then retreat to tempt the fools from their shield wall. Harold's brother, Leofrian, has been slain. Without him to control them, the troops on the Saxon right should be... Exactly. They had a... Uh, that hills. Also, there's also they also had a marsh as well, which, to be fair, the game showed quite the, the spectrum game showed quite well. And, and also, you, actually, actually, the game doesn't let doesn't let you go into the woods. So if I run away, so again, you can't go into the woods. So it really does enforce the... No, no, you can't do that, mate. You can't just go around the side. So... The, so. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, I can't do both. Give us a chance, mate. I would allow this. Bom so one of the things this thing game does quite nicely is if you've got shields, you're protected on one side, to the left, but not the other, because you haven't got a shield on your right-hand side. Yes, the Malfoss. You have to be very careful. Right. Because if it... Yeah. In we go. Right. So now he's coming. So we're now bottling it on purpose. Oh, look, there's peasants. What do knights love doing? Knights love charging peasants. Look at them. Look at them. Hey! Eat shit and die. Look at that. That's what you want. No messing about. Because they come off their wall, they're all now bottling it. I don't know why I was saying that, mate. We're doing quite well. They're all running away. And we're slaughtering them. Look at this. Now, let's reform. Be nice and tidy. There's a lot of troops here, and they're doing quite well. They formed a wall. You see, it's all quite nice. Unfortunately, we're going to advance them behind. Come on, Duke William. Where are you going? Come back. Come. No, don't. Don't do that. This is better. So, you, good old Harold. So what I've now done, I've now lost control of my army because I've got all confoozled, but I've killed lots of people, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is control A, group, formation. Yes. Oh, hello, they're coming for us. I don't know why I'm saying that, mate. Now, Harold's got... Uh, William's got himself a bit into trouble. Where is Harold? Where is Harold? He's around here somewhere. Earl's Huskar, Archer Militia. No mercy. To kill or to die, our only 
I agree with you. And we're looking for Harold. It's all a, it's all a bit of a bit of a kerfuffle. Right. Here we are. This is a bit more like it. So these these are the brother, this is the bodyguard of Girth. Look at them. So these are doing all right. So we're charging around the back of these spearmen. Hopefully, them being charged from behind, they won't like it. Where the hell is Harold? Where on earth is Harold gone? Harold? Oh, he's over here somewhere. That's fine. Keep an eye on Harold. Here comes the Duke William into attack. Lock the look at that. They don't like that very much. They've gone. So the trick with cavalry is don't lead them in combat. That's a bad thing to do. I'll get him out and get him around the back and charge in the rack. Yeah. The cavalry charges must have been absolutely terrifying. Well, that's good. But the thing is, with cavalry, horses won't charge into people. Because horses aren't stupid. But people don't know that. They think, hang on. Right. So here's King Harold. There he is, his, his banner. Actually, William, go and kill these guys. There's only four of them. But so have they. Although they, they had more than us. It's a close run thing. Exactly, yeah. It's a close run thing. Because bayonets, bayonets were an absolute game changer. Because in Rome Total War, you're basically... You've got nothing against good against cavalry until you get um, Archer Auxilia. So our archers have run... Oh, hang on. Apart from you. Come on, you've got, you've got this. Start killing people. So we have lost... They've lost more than us, but they've still got lots of good units, and our units are a bit shit. And we've lost all our knights there. We just, we just got infantry. Right, so let's try, let's try and help out by killing people. Where is Howard's got a great area? He's back here somewhere. If we can kill enough of them quickly, it's all about hammer and anvil tactics. 
I was enjoying Invade 1076, apart from the interface was a bit weird. So I think there's value there. It's one of the games that you probably spend an afternoon, uh, a, a good afternoon playing. Right, how, now you, you retreat. Are you pursuing or are you wavering? I don't know. Everyone's running around. It's all very chaotic. And as the poem goes, if hopes were dupes, fears may be liars. It may be in yon smoke concealed, your comrades chase e'en now the flyers. And, but for you, possess the field. So, I've engaged them from the front, and now Duke Williams in a charge with the back. Oh, poo. Well, we tried. We tried. Indeed. However, we did a lot better this time. We've got, we had prisoners. We killed people. Obviously, we lost people. No, so basically, Duke William killed four times as many. Our knights killed more than they uh, lost. Indeed. So, I think we've done. I think we've done honour. Okay, let's come out of here. And uh, let's go back. And let's go back. And let's go quit. And let's go to... Oh, no, we're largely for talking. Transition. And transition. And we're going to go to... Where is it gone? Sorry, folks. Where is it bloody gone? Sorry, folks. I'm looking for the the um, the um scene. Ah, here, here we are. I think, yeah, exactly. I think ex Execute's always good. That's what William would have done. I think we've done honour to the Battle of Hastings. Is that even playing? It might be playing. Who knows? Is it working? I don't know what it's doing. Um... Let's turn that off. Ah, that's why. Off that. Are you going to play now? Play. Nope, not going to play. Um, yeah, I was trying to work out why, why these scenes... I'm not good at scenes, so I've got a little bit of video thing, and they're, they're not looping, so I've asked it not to loop. So, however, I think we've done honour... I think I think we've done um, honour to the Battle of Hastings. I think we should take our, our crown and wear it in honour of Harold, who in this day triumphed, and probably would have won on, on the Spectrum game as well, which is interesting, you can see the map there, although nothing happened. A war where nothing happened. Although we managed to move troops. We moved troops up towards the top of the map. And it's about an hour and a half doing so. So what we're now going to do, if that's alright with you, I'm going to set up a raid. I'm going to raid the person who got me into streaming. He's Octavius. Oops. Ah! Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we all learn stuff. We all learn stuff. You know, it's, it's one of these battles that's it's big. But some of it, you don't know much about. So we're going to give raid to Octavius. Which I've spelt wrong. Raid. Space. Ah, right, bear with me, folks. But yes, I think, I think the Spectrum game, there's something there 
there's something there. It's just, it's, this doesn't, it's not quite there yet. But the other games in that book involve Napoleon in Armies 1814, which is unusual. And also you've got a battle in the far future with volcanoes. So there is more stuff I'm going to look at. So I'm going to do a little raidy raid, if that's all right with you. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions and the bits. Hopefully it was at least entertaining. And we should now move on.